How's it going everyone and welcome back to Tech Fortress, the YouTube channel where I help fix your tech related problems and help educate you on the latest tech and more. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a subscribe animation for your YouTube channel using Adobe After Effects. The product of today's video is this little animation right here. As you can see, the mouse cursor moves across the screen, clicks on subscribe and then moves off. I'll also be showing you how you can add some sound effects to that. For example, a click noise or a bell sound. And before I begin, I'd really appreciate it if you could go down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell to make sure you're the first person to watch the latest Tech Fortress videos. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is place all my images I want on my scene. So I'm going to place my big green image onto the screen right here. I'm just going to quickly resize it so it fills the whole site screen. I'm now going to place my Tech Fortress logo and text. Place my subscribe button. And now I'm going to place the mouse cursor. Alright, so now down the bottom here in this um, timeline thing, you can uh, click the drop downs here on the object we want to move. So uh, this can be the mouse cursor. So I'm going to grab that image and create a keyframe using the little, type in the little stopwatch there, right at the beginning for each of the aspects, rotation, scale, and position. We're now going to move to where we want our next keyframe for our position of our cursor. So we're now going to go over to here to the left, where those buttons, and click on all of them to create a new keyframe at that position. And now we can move our cursor, and that will change its rotation position for that keyframe. And you're also going to want to change its rotation on that keyframe and just that's how I want to do it and there's no need to change the scale at this keyframe so we can do that and now we can create another keyframe at a different spot in the timeline for the next position and you can move your position and rotate it a little bit and now we're going to need the click down bit so we're going to need to do change the scale here and so we're going to make that a lot smaller and we're going to make the cursor slightly smaller than before and then we're going to have a little little section here where the keyframes are quite close as we can so we can capture a really quick movement as like a click and then we're going to change the um, cursor back to its original original size or its original scale before we changed its scale down so then we're going to create another two keyframes for rotation and position over here. And I'm just going to move it off the screen. So now if we play it, we get this animation here where it clicks down and then it moves off. So what you can do now, if you want to change any of that, you can go through and basically just click on just change the values and stuff to how you want it and you can do this with like a like button as well the cursor can go across and hit the like button so now i'm just going to export that and bring it into uh, adobe premiere pro to add some sound effects all right so to get the sound effects you're going to need to go onto like google and just search up like so say you want a click sound effect just search up click sound effect on youtube and then find a method of downloading that sound maybe you can screen record and rip the audio out or it's something like that or you could just download it from a site or something i don't know and you're going to need a ding sound or any other sound it doesn't really matter just as long as it fits in with what you've done all right so now that you're in premiere pro you just want to, need to um, bring in your clips so I'm gonna bring in my no my tech fortress clip and then I've also got some uh, uh, some sound effects loaded up so I'm just gonna grab them and I'm just gonna to have to bring them into the scene at the right time so I'm gonna go grab this one over here I think it's a it's a click sound effect and I'm just gonna to have to cut that 
resize, re resize it so it's uh, small, so I don't have to drag the whole thing around and can get it more accurate. So I've got it reasonably accurate there, and now I'm going to grab the ding sound. I'm just going to cut it because it exported too large. Took a whole extra section. And, um, yeah, so I'm now going to add a little effect at the front and end where it goes. So it will like move over, like slide in, and you um, put it in your video. And so the reasoning for the green background is so that you can uh, chroma key it over your video so you can have whatever was originally there before and have that play over the top. So say it's like a gaming video, you can have that play over the top. So I'm just going to quickly, as an example here, I'm going to drag in a like a, just a screen recording of uh, another video. And I'm just gonna bring that in here. And I'm just gonna have to quickly bring You have to bring all this up and have that there. Usually you would have it so that the audio and everything's one clip so you can just drag it up. But so you can just place it above the actual clip you're trying to use. So now you're gonna to need to go to effects and search up ultra key and drag it onto your clip, your green screen. Um, yeah, and now you want to click this eyedropper here, drag to the way the part of the video, and now it doesn't really look good here, but um, it'd probably be better with white text. I didn't really think about that, but as you can see, it works fine as a green screen overlay for a subscribe animation. All right, so there you have it: the tools and steps necessary to create a subscribe animation for your YouTube channel or any kind of other animation that calls to action for someone to subscribe or interact with your video for a social media. All right, so these videos actually do take me quite a while to make. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I didn't actually show you in the video, like creating all the images um, in Photoshop, making them look good. And all right, so I would just like, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video, maybe subscribe, hit the notification bell and yeah, it would be just great if you could interact in any way with this video to help it perform better in the YouTube algorithm. And alright, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in another Tech Watchers video.